What is up YouTube? Back in Madden 23, if you like Madden rebuilds, career simulations, and experimental videos, you came to the right place. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, say something down in the comments. Justin Holliman suggested this down in the comments on a previous video to do this 99 overall rebuild experiment over a 5 year span to see how many Super Bowls they can win. I came through with the Houston Texans roster and I made all the starters 99 overall. As you can see, I didn't mess with any of their de development traits. They all have the original development traits that Madden gave them for the season or the original roster, I guess. So even the rookies, they got a 99 overall. They all have a lot of normal devs, so I'm assuming that they're probably gonna regress like pretty quick, but we're gonna see what's gonna happen over five years. Uh, I didn't make every single player on the entire team a 99 overall because I'm assuming that some players are gonna leave. I mean, I know for a fact that some players are gonna leave in free agency, so I didn't wanna have a whole bunch of 99 overalls going to other teams. It's gonna be hard to keep them all on the team because they're gonna want a crap ton of money, but like half the team is still their regular overall. So if we end up losing some guys, I can just always manipulate the ratings to make them 99 overall. End of the first season, we finished 16 and one, won our division, got a first round bye week. I'm gonna see who the heck beat our team. Who can beat a 99 overall team? Beating everybody by a lot, 56 to 16, 45 to nine, 66 to 14, 52 to seven. 56 to nothing and the Washington Commanders beat us 17 to 14. What the heck happened? Davis Mills threw an interception Marlon Mack had a good game Their running backs didn't do so great I mean, I guess it was just a bad game offensively But yeah, most of these games were pretty much just murdering everybody 52 to 6 52 to 13 52 to 7 65 to nothing. This game was pretty close 23 to 20 Let's get into the good stuff. Check out the season stats. We had the number one ranked offense with 8,300 yards. I think that's the most I've ever seen. Defensively, we're not ranked at all because we're so good, apparently. Glitch in the game. Davis Mills threw for 4,600 yards, 57 touchdowns, four interceptions, 77% completion with the 147 rating. Had an insane year. Rushing wise, Marlon Mack ran for 2,121 yards, seven yards per carry with 25 touchdowns. Appears. 1,000 yards, 6.9 per carry with 14 touchdowns. So we have one running back over 2,000 and another running back over 1,000 yards. I've never seen that before. Uh, receiving wise, there's not a bunch of yards, but I mean, it was mostly a running game that we had on our offense. But still, Brandon Cooks had 70 catches for 1,000 yards, nine touchdowns. John Mechie III had 986 yards, 15 touchdowns as a rookie. Nico Collins had 966 yards, nine touchdowns. Brevin Jordan, the tight end. 832 yards with 12 touchdowns. Defensively, Christian Kirksey led the team in tackles with 82, and then Christian Harris had 78 as a rookie. TFLs, Malik Collins had 18, Hughes Jr. had 17, and Blaylock had 12. Sacks, these guys went crazy. Jerry Hughes had 28 sacks, Blaylock had 27 and a half in the defensive tackle spot. Malik Collins had 13, and Grenard had seven. Christian Harris, the middle linebacker, had seven sacks as a rookie. Interceptions, Christian Kirksey led the team with five. And then we have a guy with three. Stingley got three. Petrie, I'm not sure how you say his name, got three interceptions. Desmond King got three. Brooks got two. Harris got one. Nelson got one. So we got a lot of uh, production on the defense and sacks and interceptions for sure. I want to see if they scored any touchdowns over here on the defensive side. No touchdowns, all right. Looking at the NFL records, Davis Mills broke the record for most passing touchdowns in a season with 57. Rushing yards, Marlon Mack got the most ever. He broke the record by a little bit, like what, 16 yards? 2,121. And let's see, rushing touchdowns, did he get on there too? No, he had 25, so he's tied for second. Jerry Hughes and Blaylock both, well, they broke the record for most sacks in a season. Hughes had the most of 28 and Blaylock had 27. Going to be playing against the 9-8 and eight Las Vegas Raiders in the divisional round of the playoffs. They beat the Bengals 35-25. to 25. And on the other side, we have the Chiefs and the Chargers. I'm just going to go ahead and simulate this game because I'm assuming that we're going to win. Hopefully, I'm assuming right. Let's advance to the next week. Did we get the dub? We won 45-7. to seven. All right. This week in the AFC Conference Championship, we're going to be playing against the 10-7 and seven Chargers. I guess they beat the... Chiefs, yeah, 30 to 24. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into this game and super sim it. 
AC Conference Championship playing in Houston. We're up seven to two in the first. We gave up a safety. The heck. We're up 14 to two in the second. 14 to five. 21 to five in the second. 21 to 14. They must have went for two or something. Tied 21 to 21. All right, we're gonna have to do something here. 24 to. Well, we're up 28 to 24 in the fourth. 28 to 27. 31 to 27. We won the game. 31 to 27. That was a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be, but we'll take it. Gonna be playing against the nine and eight Carolina Panthers in the Super Bowl. They beat the Rams 28 to 24. Super Bowl time, first quarter, we're up seven to nothing. It's a pretty low scoring game. We're up 14 to nothing in the second. Going into the third quarter, we're still up 14 to nothing. We're up 21 to nothing. Fourth quarter, we're still winning 28 to nothing. It's a blowout, Carolina's losing 35 to zero. We won the Super Bowl, and I don't know what the heck happened. Oh, I guess I pushed circle on accident to back out. Won our first Super Bowl in our first year, 35 to nothing. It was a blowout. Can't believe that the Washington Commanders beat us in that one game, or so we would have had a perfect season. But we got next year to try that. 2022 season recap: We beat the Panthers 35 to nothing in the Super Bowl to win the Houston Texans' first ever Super Bowl. Jonathan Grenard won MVP of the Super Bowl. Davis Mills won MVP of the regular season. Lovey Smith won Coach of the Year with our Texans. Cooper Cup won Offensive Player of the Year with the Rams. All right, that doesn't make any sense since we just broke a record with rushing, but whatever. Larry Hughes Jr. won Defensive Player of the Year with the Texans. John Mechie the third won Offensive Rookie of the Year with the Texans. And Christian Harris won Defensive Rookie of the Year with the Texans. Looking at players ready to negotiate, we got $84 million in cap space, and there's some players on here that are wanting ridiculous money. This contract right here from Marlon Mack is actually not bad at all, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to re-sign him to this six-year deal for him being a 99 overall. He's coming back. Let's see, Gruger Hill, he wants three years, 58 million, so like 20 million a year, basically. Can go ahead and offer that to him. He wants to go to a new team, all right. Let's see, where's the other guy? So there's this guy right here, Chester Rogers, 29 years old. He wants five years, $150 million, because he's a 99 overall. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. Thank you, sir, but no thanks. And then there's a quarterback over here, Kyle Allen. I had made him a 99 overall as the backup, just in case Davis Mills got hurt. But he wants seven years, $341 million. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that. I am gonna come in here and re-sign this guy. Because what I'm going to do is whatever spots that we lose players that are not 99 overall anymore, I'm just going to bump them all up to 99 overall just to hurry up and get through. Because it doesn't matter about free agency or anything like that. All these players are just going to end up being 99 overall for the entire uh, five-year rebuild. All right, so this is what the team is looking like before free agency. Davis Mills got jumped up to superstar. Uh, everyone else is still a 99 overall, so I don't have to worry about messing with any other overall attributes. On defense, everyone is still a 99 except for this outside linebacker spot. So I'm going to come in here and manually bump him up to 99 overall and then simulate through the free agency and the draft and get to the next season. So we had three 99 overall players that went to free agency. I just came to, after free agency was over, to look at the recap to see what happened. And the linebacker, Gruger Hill, he signed a, a deal with Arizona. The uh, quarterback, Kyle Allen, went to the Eagles on a seven-year deal for a crap ton of money. And then the wide receiver, Chester Rogers, went to the Patriots on a five-year deal for a lot of money, it looks like. Beginning of season two, this is what the team is looking like. Still all the same players, all 99 overall. Some of them have upgrades available, but you can't do them because they're already maxed out. So they're just gonna hold until they start losing their ability. And then they'll, they'll, I guess the computer will automatically upgrade them to keep them at 99 or whatever it gives them. And uh, on the defense, the only thing, like I said, I did make this linebacker a 99 overall. Going to season two, see if we can go 17 and 0. End of the regular season, we did end up going 17 and 0 finally. I mean, I say finally, but it just took one year or two seasons, my bad. And I'm gonna look at the team schedule and see how bad we were beating these fools in the regular season. We got 42 points, 56, 49. We got a 63 against the Saints over here. We got a 59 uh, to seven against the Jaguars. So we're scoring at least 30 points. We're scoring at least 30 points, but typically get in in the 40s and even the 50s. Checking out the season stats, we had the number one ranked offense again, 8,400 yards. I think last year we had 8,300 and defense were 
we're doing so good that they can't even rank us yet again. Davis Mills threw for 4,900 yards, 47 touchdowns, four interceptions, 75% completion with a 136.9 rating. That's MVP numbers for sure. Marlon Mack had another 2,000-yard season with 28 touchdowns, and the backup running back Damian Pierce had another 1,000-yard season with 16 touchdowns. Brandon Cooks had 89 catches for 1,300 yards, 9 touchdowns. Brevin Jordan had 1,000 for 15 touchdowns. John Mechie, Jr., or John Mechie III had 1,000 yards for 12 touchdowns. Defensively, Christian Kirksey led the team in tackles with 96. Jerry Hughes had the most TFLs with 16. Grenard had 15. Sacks-wise, Jerry Hughes led the team with 23. Malik Collins, 22. Uh, Jonathan Grenard, 20 and a half. Blaylock had 14 and a half. So, man, I bet the quarterbacks that are playing against us are just scared, running for their lives nonstop. Christian Kirksey led the team with six interceptions, and Murray had three. King had two, and Jalen had two. Here in the divisional round, we're gonna be playing against the 13 and four Denver Broncos. Let me check out the playoff bracket over here. They beat the Jets 35 to seven. I'm gonna be uh, just uh, simulating to the next week until we get to the Super Bowl. Gonna simulate to the next week and see if we can get this win against Denver. We beat them 34 to 31, so we barely beat them. Gonna be playing against Kansas City this week. They're 14 and three. Going to the next week, see if we can make it to the Super Bowl. We won 49 to 27 going to the Super Bowl. Gonna be playing against the 10 and 7 Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the Super Bowl. I'm gonna check out the playoff bracket. They beat the Cowboys. Well, actually, they beat the Washington football, Washington Commanders, not the football team. 56 to 33. They beat the Cowboys 37 to 34, and they beat the Eagles 39 to 29. Playing in the Super Bowl, we're up seven to nothing in the first. 7 to 3, still winning. We're up 14 to 3. We're up 14 to 10. We're up 21 to 10 in the second. It's a lot of points going on here. We're up 27 to 10 in the third. 34 to 10. We're up 37 to 10 in the fourth. We're up 40 to 10. We're up 47 to 24. Won the second Super Bowl in a row. 47 to 24. Looking at the player stats from the Super Bowl, Davis Mills had a 151.9 rating, almost a perfect rating. I think the perfect rating is like a 158.3. He had a 252 yards, four touchdowns, 82% completion. The Buccaneers got Jacoby Brissett at quarterback. He actually had a pretty good game, a 110 rating, 340 yards, three touchdowns, and one interception. Rushing-wise, Marlon Mack had a game, 17 carries, 147 yards, 8.6 per carry with a touchdown. Receiving wise, we didn't really have anybody stand out there. I guess Nico Collins had three receiving touchdowns. That's pretty good. Defensively, sacks. Jonathan Grenard got two and a half. Hughes got two. Blaylock got one and a half. Collins got one. So we were out here just murdering Jacoby Brissett the whole entire game. He was just running for his life, but he still had a pretty good game, though. 2023 season recap. We beat the Buccaneers in the Super Bowl 47 to 24 to win Houston's second Super Bowl in a row. Davis Mills was Super Bowl MVP. Joe Burrow won MVP of the regular season with the Bengals. I don't see how he beat the one of our Davis Mills or somebody else. Lovey Smith won Coach of the Year with the Texans. Marlon Mack won Offensive Player of the Year with the Texans. Gruger Hill won Defensive Player with the Cardinals. <laughs> he left our team and went there. Looking at players ready to negotiate before free agency, we got 198 million in cap space, so I'm gonna go through here and re-sign some guys for sure. I don't know if Davis Mills is gonna be up for a new contract yet. I think he still has another year on his rookie deal. I'm just trying to see if I can find him before I start signing other players, because I do want to keep him on the team. All right, so I want to keep, see, Jerry Hughes is 36 years old. I'll probably just let him walk. He only wants one year, 21 million. Eh, maybe I'll, Give it to him for one year. He wants to go to free agency. All right. Start over here. Blaylock, 26 years old. He's 99 overall. Huh, I wonder how he got that 99 overall. Let's offer him a deal. He's not interested. We just won two Super Bowls in a row. What the heck? Steven Nelson, do you want to come back to the team? You want to play for a new team? This guy. They all want to go chase this big money. Let's see if uh, fullback wants to stay on the team. He wants to go to another team too. All right, these guys. Let's see if Grenard wants four years, 123 million. Wow, he wants all of the money. He's coming back. Who else can we get? This running or this uh, linebacker Reeves Maben. 
five years, 127 million. All right. All right. You don't want that anyways? You want to go back to free agency? All right. These guys keep tripping over here for real. Four years, 146 or $104 million for an offensive lineman. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Here. Can we get AJ Can to come back? One year, $17 million deal. He's coming back. Who else can we try to get? Desmond King, do you want to come back and play for us? Yep, he's coming back. Who else? All these guys don't want to play for us. Uh, Malik Collins wants two years, $47 million. He's coming back. How much cat says we got $84 million left? The punter, he wants one year, $3 million for a 99 overall punter. All right. He's coming back. Let's see who else we got. Pass a couple of guys. Laramie Tunsil wants three years, $77 million. All right, we'll give it to you if you want to come back. Nice, he's coming back too. I hate that it starts me back all the way over here at the beginning every time after someone accepts an offer. But if they decline it, then it stays right there. Titus Howard wants four years, 75 mil. I'll go ahead and give it to him. And then still got 39 mil. Did he accept the offer? I didn't even see. I guess he did because I don't see him on here. Kicker, 99 overall kicker wants two years, 9.6 million. See, the kickers are actually being reasonable. You want to go to a new team? All right, I retract my previous statement. You are not reasonable at all. Justin Britt only wants one year, 12 and a half mil. Go ahead and throw it to him. Now we're down to 27 million in cap space. Uh, Eric Murray, the safety, wants three years, 49 mil. Christian Kirksey wants three years, 46 mil. Let's guess I'll get this middle line back. Yeah. Let's get the safety. And that's probably going to be all I can afford. We got 11 million in cat space, so I'm just going to go to the next season and upgrade any players that we need to to make them 99 overall. Only thing that sucks about this is that there's a lot of 99 overalls getting scattered across the rest of the NFL that we have to compete with. But I think it'll be fine, though, because we have a team full of them, and they're only going to be the only 99 overall on their team, most likely. Looking at the free agency recap, it looks like this cornerback, Steven Nelson, that we try to resign. Nobody wanted to get him for some reason. I guess he wanted too much money, so he's turning down all the deals. So he's going to be in free agency. Maybe we can jump over there and sign him. We only got 10.9 million in cap space, though. So Blaylock went to the Steelers. Our kicker, nobody signed him. Uh, Reeves Maven went to the Commanders. Jerry Hughes went to the Baltimore Ravens. Christian Kirksey went to the Dolphins. Fullback uh, Andy jo Janovic. I'm not sure how you say his name. He didn't get signed with anybody. Free agency to try to sign those guys that were still 99 overall that didn't get signed in the regular free agency. This is the beginning of the next season and none of them are here, so I don't know how, but they all got signed. I was trying to look at free agency every single week up to this point, and this is the first time it let me see it. So I don't know how anybody could sign them whenever there was no opportunity to do it, but it's not like that big of a deal. We'll be able to upgrade whoever we need to 99 overall. So this is what the team is looking like at the beginning of the next season. It's going to be season number three. We still have all 99 overalls. Uh, this running back is a 99 overall as a backup. They have him as fullback. That's why it says he's a 98. Defensively, we lost a few guys, so I'm going to have to upgrade this outside linebacker to a 99 overall. I'm going to have to upgrade this defensive tackle and this defensive tackle. So I'm going to do that real quick and then advance to the end of the regular season. Try to go 17-0 and two years in a row. End of the regular season, we went 17-0 and 0 once again. Out here balling on these dudes. Stats-wise, let's see what we got here. We had the number one ranked offense. We dropped down to 8,200. Last year, we had 8,400. Defensively, we're still so good, we don't get ranked at all. Uh, passing yards, Davis Mills, 4,900. 59 touchdowns. He almost had 60. Only five interceptions. 77% completion with the 146 quarterback rating. That's insane. Rushing-wise, Marlon Mack, he only played in 13 games, so he missed four. That's why he didn't get another 2,000-yard season. But he still had 1,300 yards, 6.3 per carry with 14 touchdowns. Backup running back, Damian Pierce, had 1,300 yards, 7.6 per carry. That's freaking crazy. 19 touchdowns, very nice. Brandon Cooks had 1,000 yards, 13 touchdowns. Nico Collins had 947 yards, 12 touchdowns. Mechie had 900 yards, 11 touchdowns. Defensively, Christian Harris led the team in tackles with 118. Jonathan Grenard led the team with uh, 16 TFLs. Booker had 16 also. Sacks-wise, Grenard had 23 and a half. 
McDaniels, a rookie linebacker, had 21 sacks. Malik Collins, 21 sacks. Thomas Booker had 17 and a half sacks. Christian Harris had four interceptions. Desmond King had two, Murray had two, and Jalen had one. It's one thing that I noticed that even though the corners and the safeties are all 99 overall with 99 man coverage and zone coverage and all that, they're still barely getting interceptions out here. Davis Mills broke his own passing touchdown record in one season with 59. The first season he had 57. And I think that he was on here with 47 last year, but since we, we uh, got this 59, it pushed that one down. So it's not showing that one anymore. Going to be playing against the 12-5 and five Broncos in the divisional round. I'm going to simulate to the next week and assume that we're going to win. We do. We win 42-23. to 23. Playing against the 12-5 and five Bengals the next week. I'm going to advance to the Pro Bowl week and we should be going to the Super Bowl, hopefully. We beat the Bengals 49-24 to 24 going to the Super Bowl three years in a row. Going to be playing against the 9-8 and eight Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the Super Bowl for the second straight year. I'm assuming they still got Jacoby Brissett at quarterback. I don't know for sure. They beat the Vikings 42-35. to 35. They beat the Cowboys 42-31. to 31. And they beat the Bears 28-14. to 14. Playing in the Super Bowl, we're up 3-0 in the first. Tampa Bay scores 7-3. We're up 10-7 in the second quarter. We're up 13-7. Third quarter, we're still up. Well, we're down 14-13 now. We're going to have to do something here. Can't lose to Tampa Bay. Come on, man. 21-14 in the fourth. Tampa Bay scores to make it 21-17. I'm going to jump in here and see what this 99 overall team feels like. They know for sure that we're going to run it, so let me do a little slant pass here real quick. He was setting on that route, man. Let me come in here and mess around and lose the Super Bowl for us. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure that we get this win here. Or I should probably just quit if I, or I should back out if I want to get the win. Get him! Oh, Malik Collins just blew right through. <laughs> he has 99 speed. Defensive line is freaking nasty out here. All right, here we go. Get him! Nice. They're running no huddle here. Come on, Malik Collins. Get that interception. How y'all letting people get uh, catches on y'all when y'all are 99 overall? Out here looking nasty. Like in a bad way, not in a good way. Grenard. Really? Wow. This is freaking crazy. I don't see how this dude's out here getting mossed. Get the sack! Dude's out here tired as heck. Can't even get the dang sack. 17 seconds left. Get in there. We need to get this sack, man. On here, we got to get through here, get the sack, get a turnover, and win this game. Since I threw an interception like an idiot earlier. Get him. No. Flag on the play. What is it going to be? So I think it's against us. Roughing the passer or pass interference. Oh, illegal touching on the offense. Yeah, we'll gladly accept that. Thank you very much. Going with Booker up the middle here. Try to get this sack. Get him. No. Freaking two seconds left they scored, man. We're going to lose the Super Bowl because I threw a freaking interception. I should have just ran the ball, man. All right, here's the kickoff return. We're going to have to run this thing back for a touchdown unless it goes for it. No, they're kicking it short on purpose. All right, let's see if we can get the tutty here. And should have ran to the right. Lost the Super Bowl thanks to me. I should have never jumped in and threw a freaking pass. That's all right, though. 2024 season recap. I lost us the Super Bowl against the Buccaneers 24 to 21. Full disclosure, I'm really not that good at Madden. It was on all Madden difficulty, which is the highest, obviously. I really don't play actual games that much. I, I typically just like to do rebuilds. Uh, anyways, the Buccaneers won their second Super Bowl. Chris Godwin won MVP of the Super Bowl. Davis Mills won MVP again of the regular season. Levy Smith won Coach of the Year again with the Texans. And Cooper Cup won Offensive Player of the Year with the Rams. Uh, Jalen Reeves Maven won Defensive Player of the Year with the Commanders. He's one of the 99 overall guys that we let go to free agency. 
players ready to negotiate before free agency. Davis Mills is here. He is a 99 overall with the superstar X Factor, 26 years old. He wants seven years, $341 million. I'm going to try to give it to him and see if he'll accept it. He's not interested in signing. Well, he's mad because I threw that interception in the Super Bowl. My bad, bro. Don't hold it against me, all right? Uh, let's see. I'm going to try to resign a few of these guys and... Whoever doesn't stay on the team will just do the same thing. We'll automatically upgrade them to a 99 overall. Go ahead and franchise tag Davis Mills here for 48.9 million just to make sure he stays on the team because I do want him to stay with the Texans for the rest of this rebuild. This is the beginning of season four. This is what the lineup is looking like. We're going to have to upgrade a right guard and a tight end and two receivers because we lost our other receivers. We still got John Mechie on his rookie deal. But I'm going to have three receivers with 99 overall because that's how it's been this whole time. We're going to have to upgrade this outside linebacker spot and this defensive end spot. And this cornerback is going to have to get upgraded and also this cornerback. So I can have three 99 overall corners. For the regular season, we went 17-0 once again for the third straight year in a row. We only lost one game, all well, actually two games. We lost one game in the regular season and two, well, one game in the Super Bowl because of me. We have the number one ranked offense and defensively we're always never ranked. I'm going to uh, look at this real quick and see defensively. Yeah, we had the, the gave up the least amount of yards. We had the number one ranked defense by um, or over a thousand yards. So jump in here and look at Davis Mills. He has 4,700 yards passing 55 touchdowns and only three interceptions. 78% completion with the 152.3 rating out here killing it. Marlon Mack jumped back over to 2,000 yards, played all uh, 17 games of the regular season. He averaged 6.6 .6 per carry, 25 rushing touchdowns. Backup running back Damian Pierce had 1,200 yards, 6.2 .2 per carry with 16 touchdowns. Receiving uh, Dewan McLean had 1,200 yards, 10 touchdowns. Mario Mendoza, tight end, had 953 yards, 8 touchdowns. Eric Allen had 800 yards and 12 touchdowns, and John Mechie almost had 800 yards with 11 touchdowns. He missed two games. He only played in 15, it says. Defensively, Christian Harris led the team in tackles with 108. TFLs, Thomas Booker had the most with 17 sacks. George McDaniels had 28 and a half sacks. Malik Collins, 22 and a half. Booker had 15, and Grenard had 12. Interceptions, Tevin Andrews had four, Stingley had three, Harris had two, Murray had two, and Jalen had two. 10 and seven Denver Broncos in the division around of the playoffs. I'm gonna go ahead and advance to the next week and we should easily get this win. 58 to 14, we beat them playing against the 12 and five Baltimore Ravens in the conference championship. Advancing to the next week. Beat them 35 to 17, nice. The 10 and 7 Washington Commanders in the Super Bowl. They got Jalen Reeves Maven, who came from us. He's a 99 overall on their defense. Outside linebacker. He had 91 tackles and 25 sacks. They're the only team that beat us the entire regular season. So let's see if we can beat them in the Super Bowl. Playing in the Super Bowl, we're up seven to nothing. We're up 10 to nothing. We're up 17 to nothing. It's 17 to three in the second. We're up 24 to three. I'm gonna jump in here and throw six pick sixes so we can lose the game. Psych. We're up 31 to six in the second. Dang, we're blowing them out. 38 to six, 45 to six in the third. 51 to six. 51 to six still in the fourth quarter. I am gonna jump in here and try to see how we're playing defense. All right, that's okay. Let's see how we can do here on defense. See if we can get us a sack. They still got Carson Wentz as our quarterback. This is season four. Oh man, we're gonna give up a touchdown. I'm gonna lose the game in 45 seconds. Man, we can't even make any tackles. What the heck? Come on, guys. See if we can get us a sack here with Gnard. Oh, interception, Andrews. You gonna run it back? You got 99 speed. You should be able to outrun all these fools. Touchdown, pick six. Super Sam to the end of the game. We won 58 to 6. That has to be a Super Bowl record. 58 points. We won our third Super Bowl in four years. It should have been four, but I know I'll never live down that interception last year in the Super Bowl. Try to make up for it with a pick six in this game. 
2025 season recap we won our third super bowl 58 to 6 over the washington commanders tevin andrews won super bowl mvp the cornerback i think that's the one that had that pick six davis mills won mvp of the regular season levy smith won coach of the year again with the texans marlon mack won offensive player player of the year with the texans uh outside linebacker george mcdaniels won defensive player of the year with our texans Looking at players ready to negotiate, I'm going to try to sign Davis Mills once again and see if he'll come back on this seven-year deal. He wants to go play for another team. What the heck, dude? You're out here winning all these Super Bowls and you just want to leave us. I'm going to franchise tag you again for 50 mil. All right, we got 61 million left. Uh, We need to bring back, let's see, four for 68, one for 12. Let's try to get Justin Britt on this cheaper deal. He's coming back. I guess we can try to get this uh safety Jalen he's coming back 33 million left Thomas Booker you want to come back and play for us he's coming back we only got 11 million left so I'm just going to simulate to the beginning of the next season and boost up anybody I need to to a 99 overall fifth and final season this is what the lineup is looking like we do still have Marlon Mack at running back but he's injured for 12 weeks right now apparently he got hurt at the end of last season for like 40 weeks I saw him on the injured list we got 99 overall everything uh wait hold on Tunsil's down to a 98 let's go ahead and bump him up real quick all right I got that fixed he's up to a 99 now and wide receivers we have uh three new wide receivers or or actually at least one new one I had to bump this guy up to a 99 overall these other two guys were already 99 defensively I had to bump up this guy this middle linebacker and also this cornerback Mosley everyone else was already a 99 overall End of the regular season went 17 and 0 once again undefeated for four seasons out of the five that we had number one ranked offense down to 7900 yards we were at like 8400 before we got the number one ranked defense again but it's not showing it on there davis mills threw for 5300 yards 50 touchdowns seven interceptions 74 percent completion with the 136.3 passer rating uh running back wendell barner came in the heck what's going on why didn't marlon mack get in there oh, i guess he was still injured for like 12 weeks that's right uh wendell Bar barner had 12 uh, 285 carries for 1527 yards 5.4 per carry with 18 touchdowns this backup running back i don't think i made him a 99 overall i don't think about that uh receiver keegan Pittman had 73 catches for 1500 yards with 20.6 per carry or per catch 18 touchdowns so he was a deep threat for sure mendoza the tight end had 1100 yards 13 touchdowns mclean had 1100 yards five touchdowns allen had a thousand yards with nine touchdowns defensively paul barnett led the team in tackles with 106 mcdaniels had 17 tfls house had 14 and booker had 10 sacks ben house had 30 and a half sacks what the heck out here killing it mcdaniels had 22 and a half and grenard had 12 interceptions roseman had five interceptions mosley had five andrews had four ferguson had three barnett had two murray had two and Jalen had one got a ton of interceptions this year in house broke the record for most sacks in one season with 30 over jerry hughes who had 28 along with mcdaniels who had 28 on our team and then also blaylock had 27 on our team but he had 30 and a half, but for some reason it doesn't show the half sacks on the career records or NFL records. The 10 and 7 New England Patriots in the divisional round. I'm going to simulate to the next week. We beat them 63 to 28, playing against the 11 and 6 Steelers in the AFC Championship game. Beat them 48 to 3, going to the Super Bowl. Playing against the 11 and 6 Dallas Cowboys in the Super Bowl. Let's see, they beat the Vikings 27 to 21. They beat the Giants 42 to 21, and they beat the Falcons 31 to 15. Playing in our fifth straight Super Bowl here, we're up 7-0 in the first quarter, 7 to 3, 14 to 3 in the second. We're winning. We're up 17 to 13, 24 to 6, 24 to 9, 27 to 9 in the third quarter. We're winning. 34 to 9 fourth quarter we're up 41 to 9 blowing them out 44 to 9 44 to 12 is the final score
won our fourth Super Bowl. Four out of five. We should have got five out of five, but y'all know what happened in that one. I threw an interception at the end of the game like an idiot instead of running the ball. Could have had five straight. Only lost two games the entire time. 2026 season recap. We won our fourth Super Bowl against the Cowboys, 44 to 12. Davis Mills won Super Bowl MVP and MVP of the regular season. Levy Smith won Coach of the Year with the Texans five years in a row. Cooper Cup won Offensive Player of the Year with the Rams. Ben House won Defensive Player of the Year with the Texans with his 30 and a half sacks. Davis Mills season stats real quick. He was putting up crazy numbers in this 99 overall rebuild. Uh, he threw for over 4,600 yards every year. He had a QB rating over 136 every year. 2025 was his best season, a 152.3 rating, 55 touchdowns, only three interceptions, 78% completion, only sacked 13 times. This team only lost one game in the entire regular season, and that was the first week against, or the first season against the Washington Commanders. And then we should have won five Super Bowls in a row, but I jumped in on the second one, I think it was. Or maybe it was the third one. I don't remember which one it was. But, yeah, I threw an interception at the end of the game when we were winning. Should have ran the ball out and – or should have ran the ball to burn the clock. But I threw a pass like an idiot, got intercepted. Offense got the ball on their side, and they are inside the 20-yard line, and they were able to score a touchdown. Couldn't stop them on defense. So, still, technically, they should have won – every single game except for that one game that in the regular season against Washington they won four out of five Super Bowls the team was out here killing it that's gonna be it for the video if y'all like what y'all saw please subscribe to the channel hit the like button say something down in the comments any suggestions on any other type of experimental videos I appreciate y'all watching I'll see y'all in the next one peace